Oh, you're so cute. Look at you trying to take me out. Yeah. Who's taking who out now, sucker? Oh, okay. Good morning, afternoon, evening. It is Alexis Arcade, and today it's a beautiful day. It's not be outside, but instead to continue our journey here on our Arc Primitive Plus Primitive Unlimited server. For today's sort of business, we're going to start actually taming up a bunch of things for our kibble farm. That way, we're just going to have a ton of dinosaurs in there. I do have to tell you something, though, real quick. I am not feeling very well. I'm kind of sick, so I'm going just to forgive any maybe sniffling or coughing. I will do my best not to do it in a recording but like sometimes you just don't even know what's happening it just comes up and it happens so please forgive me on that but anyway that's what am what am i now i'm hungry it's a good thing i got food here all right so we're going taming today but uh there's something i wanted to check out oh by the way i am in flak armor but on primitive unlimited it's not called flak it's called iron it is the iron armor we'll go here in your engram so it looks exactly the same obviously it's just under iron um, anyway, but what I wanted to look up uh, was also the, I believe, longbow. There's a longbow here in the game, and it requires 25 anger points. I'm not quite sure of the level, because I surpassed that, but, uh, I want to, I'm a little scared about it, because I thought about using it for taming, but I was like, wait, I don't know if it's going to be too powerful, and it's going to kill things, you know? But I figured we can try, we can take one with us. 150 fiber, 20 leather, Beeswax? Well, I don't have any leather. I know where to get beeswax and obviously fiber. So how do we make leather? Um, I know I don't know. No, I don't want a battle axe. What's the thing called? Cause someone does have one. But I guess there's no greater time like the present than to get one. Because here's the thing. I went to make a um a whatchamacallit, a canteen earlier, and you need le you need leather for that too. Here, let me show you. You make it over here in the crafting table. You need 10 clay, 20 leather, 15 beeswax, and 5 feathers. And also here's the thing, is I went to make clay, and I was like, you need limestone. And I was like, I definitely have limestone in here to make the clay. See? See? Well, I just took the clay stone out, but you need limestone and clay. But look at all the, look at all the limestone! There's a ton of limestone in there! Anyway, alright, uh, we'll run over here to see what this thing's called in the Ingram. So that also, that way you can also see what it takes. Um, a tanning rack. Aha! Combine salt and hide to make leather. Alright, I can do that. I'm not going to take their leather. Um, so what was it called? A tanning. Tanning rack. Aha! Right on. So we've got one. And what do we need to make it? 30 wood, 10 thatch, 20 fiber. I can do that. I'm going to grab some hide on our way over there, and then I've got plenty of salt because of the jerky. Hide is in this one. Voila. And then I've got all my ingredients over here. I'm excited. These things are so weird. Well, do I really want to put it in here? Is that a little morbid, like having hide drying in here when you have a bunch of dinosaurs living in here? I don't know. All right, give me some wood, thatch, fiber. I said that backwards, but y'all get the point. Craft item. Nice, 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 nice. And then we'll put you away. We'll put you down here. And we'll put this guy, like, right... That's my pike. Obstruct. Oh, because he's probably up again. We'll put it here. How about that? Line it up the way Alexis do. We'll get it between these two windows. Bring it a little bit more forward so it's not sticking outside. And voila. Alright, and now let's get all the salt we could ever need. I don't like when my stacks aren't perfectly 100, by the way. I know. I know. And then let's go ahead and put this in here. And now we shall wait for leather. I'm not sure how long that takes, but I do want to wait. That way we can try out the longbow on our taming adventures. But in the meantime, I am going to go ahead and knock out this parasaur and give it a friend. Wait, you must be, you're another lady. Yeah, okay, okay. Not that it mattered. I got, because I, I need a dude anyway. Oh, 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 I didn't mean to do that. I forget you don't aim with a crossbow. Okay. <laughs> All right, you guys, I will be back. 
been about a half hour since we left off, and in that time, I tamed up a tablet. I tamed up two Lystrosauruses, and I got a couple of dodos over there, and that Parasaur out there is all tamed up. But also, we've got some hide made. We've got 15 leather. I meant leather, not hide. Let's pop that in here and make sure that that. Oh wait, we have to make it over in the smithy, correct? Hold on, let me clear out my inventory of all this crap that I don't need real quick. Uh, get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! Out of here! Out of here! Oh, oh, and let me pick up the narcotic. There we go. Okay. And then uh, we'll head over to the smithy. Just like that. That's how we say smithy. I think we only needed 10 leather. So I'm pretty sure we've got plenty of it. Let's see. 20. Oh, snap. So we're going to have to wait another half hour. But in the meantime, uh, I know there's beeswax around here somewhere. Yeah, right here. But, but have I shown you guys the bees? I think I did, oh, eggs, in the um, first episode, or the episode that I did a tour of our compound here. But there's just so many bees, and the way that you get bees is I guess you can randomly pick them up while you are, like, harvesting with your hands. But the Bronto is really good at getting bees. Let me pull these out of here. Um, I've been using, what's your name? Stool. I've been, <laughs> I've been using stool to uh, get berries and stuff lately, and I picked up quite a few. But look, look at all the honey in the world. It's crazy. There's bees in here? Yeah. All right, let me put the queen bee and the drone bee in here. Any day now. It takes a long time. There's a lot of bees. Monkey Puzzle was telling me there was like some weird glitch that happened um, that allowed for all the bees to, well, be bee-ish. So, all right, well, it doesn't seem to want to take the queens because they're way overdone. So. We'll put the queens back on stool for right now. Okay, so we're going to wait another half hour for the hide to, to turn into leather. We'll probably do some more local taming, things that are just nearby, and I will be back. Especially after the rain. You guys, this Avaraptor just started attacking this Lystrosaur. I've never... I didn't know they did that. Oh, oh, you mad at me? I took your egg, yeah? Oh, you're so cute. Look at you trying to take me out. Yeah. Who's taking who out now, sucker? Oh, okay. Yeah, I, you'd think I would have gotten the dossier by now for taming one, but I guess I haven't been close enough. See? Took his egg. Sorry. Sorry, little lady. It's funny she went after the Lystrosaurus first then. Whoopsie. All right, you stay here and guard this. I have a trike down over here. I'm getting a lot of taming done in the meantime. Um, for the bigger dinosaurs, we're gonna have to need a Quetzal, I presume. Well, I mean, there's trikes here on the island. I don't know, we're gonna need a Quetzal at some point, and I, that means I'm gonna have to get like a Pteranodon to fly around, that sort of thing. Life's really hard right now, obviously. All right, so I think we might have leather at this point. Whoa, whoa, look at this. Look at me! <laughs> I'm not moving at all, but I'm moving at the same time. Anyway, um, leather's probably been made. Just gonna wait on the Ava Raptor, get over there, and then we're gonna test out that longbow. Whoa, yeah! Yes! Quick side note, I forgot that all the raptors came up using eggs, so I went back to the egg farm and we had a Bronto egg and a couple Parasaur eggs. So we'll see how it tames this little level 45 lady up. I hope. Nope, not gonna get her done. Well, crap, we just wasted our Bronto egg. I don't like you, you dumb butt. All right, well, you're gonna stay there. I'm not gonna feed you stem berries. You're gonna stay there. Oh, wait, give me, give me my berries back. Take that. All right, so we've got our Parasaur, we've got our Trike, and we're going to head back to the house. <laughs> Look at it behind me. <laughs> uh, and we have, we do have leather made up. So um, once I get these guys back all in their home and situated, uh, I will be back so we can make the crossbow. Okay, so we are back at the smithy. Let's put in our leather and craft us up. A longbow, and I realized I think I said crossbow in that last bit. I totally meant longbow. Oh, and I've got all this going because we're going to make a couple of dummies. What? I thought I had enough to make two. Oh, that's right. Let me get some fiber over here from over here. Fiber, 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 fiber. And make fiber. Or make, <laughs> make another dummy. And put you back. And let's get our longbow out of here now. 
ooh, ah, and okay, it took the regular arrows. That's what I wanted. And then let's get out here. Where should we put the dummies? Somewhere that people will find them and think it's funny. Uh, we'll just do it, I don't know, randomly right here on the beach. Okay. So we'll plop you down right there. And then we'll put you here. And let's bring this bad boy out. Oh. That is a mighty long bow. Let's switch it to see what our crossbow. Oh, and I'm doing that weird, like, robot stiff dance thing. All right. Oop, oop, switch to the longbow again. Do I have stuff on me to make a regular bow? I should have thought this one through. All I need is 50 fiber now. All right, all right. 50 fiber to the rescue. All right, so now we have all the versions of the bows. We have our crossbow, our crossbow, longbow, and regular bow. All right, so now let's go ahead and test the damage on them. We will go ahead and aim for... So 127 with the longbow was the damage to the chest. Oh. Oh. Then what was it that showed before? 127. All right. What about a headshot here? Same thing. So it looks to be like it's the same across the board. Let's go ahead with our regular bow. Right to the chest. 55? Right, this is the regular bow, yeah? Eight. Yeah, all right. And then we'll do the head here. 55! Huh. All right. Oh, but DPS is only 11. And then let's see when we go to the crossbow. Oops, I totally missed. <laughs> Shoot the head. 95. Let's wait for the big words across the screen. 19. All right, so it looks like the longbow might do better. Oh, that time is 44. Why are you being inconsistent, yo? Because wasn't it 25, like, just the other second ago? 25. Oh, I was closer. Duh. Obviously. Come on. There we go. Oh, wait. It's 24. But uh, you guys just saw it was 44. We'll do you again. At. What was it? 11. And then you one more time. Not. not you don't want to use that bow. And then we'll do this. Oops. If I can hit it. Did I hit it? I hit it now. At 38. So it looks like. Unless you have a weird fluke with the longbow, your your um, crossbow is going to be your best bet for damage. You I you could let's can I see what the tor it, what what it does for torpidity when you shoot these guys, or does it will it only just show thirty? So I'm going to assume that's how much torpor it does. Thirty five. All right. DPS 7. Just just stick with your longbow. The the cro the or excuse me, your crossbow. The longbow is cool looking, but I don't know, your crossbow still seems to be the better deal. Plus you get to do this sweet 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 robot dance. Check me out. Bonk soul brother right about now. Bonk soul. Anyway, all right. So, looks like it is 7, or excuse me. 6.22 in the evening. We will wait for morning to come. We'll try to tame throughout the night. We'll see what we can do. And uh, I will be right back. All right, y'all. I'm killing it in the taming game. Behind me, I had a turtle. Over here, I have a tomatodon. And somewhere, there's a Lystrosaurus eating berries. Um, so, yeah, we're, we're, things are moving along quite well. I was not expecting to see so many or to see the diverse dinosaurs in this area. I know they're all here, but they're all closer than normal, if that makes sense any sense also by the way your crossbow will be your best bet still damage wise um i looked it up after that and we're on a pve server so the damage uh isn't showing like adequately but um with like the dummies it does it show the dps is showing you what the damage is done over five or like 
Just, just believe me when I say that your crossbow will still do the most damage. But what I did want to try real quick while those guys are eating and taming is to put, excuse me, is to put, um, is to see if this will shoot underwater. Because I don't think that it will, but I do want to give it a shot. So let's go. And nope, 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 it will not. But your crossbow will. So just all around in general, your crossbow is cooler and more dangerous and better. Um, unless you want to tame and you don't want to hurt your hurt, hurt hurt your dangers, hurt your dinosaurs, then I would use you could use the longbow. Um, but for now, it's just a feature of Primitive Plus that's snazzy. You can pretend to be Katniss Everdeen or Merida from Brave, whichever your little heart prefers. Rawr, our turtle came alive while I was getting a saddle for it. Ah, uh, and dropped us an egg. Nice of you to do that. All right, this is your saddle. Take that. Where are you at? Where are you at? Almost done. All right, we'll feed you some of this. You got one more piece of prime meat jerky left, yeah? Enjoying that? And look, where'd it go? There's a parasaur egg over here. Oh, wait, no, it's another turtle egg. Oh, all right, you won't eat me then. You are already producing eggs like a beast, you little egg. I'm going to rename you Egg Baby. Egg. Egg Baby. Why Egg Baby? I don't know. That's a little creepy, actually. Oh, you just want to walk all over our pteranodon, don't you? Wow, it's a parasaur party over here. Oh, it showed the pteranodon uh, stats floating, and I was like, that's a parasaur. But then it's because it was walking on our pteranodon. Okay, you guys, um, I guess we'll go look for, like, a couple more dinosaurs to tame up. Maybe another Tyrannodon and Turtle, and, uh, I will be back. Well, ladies and gentlemen of the Arcadian type, we have a Stego down behind me. I've already tamed up another trike and sent it back packing. I, me and Baron over there took it home. I don't remember if it was a dude or a lady. Uh, that's, yeah, oh well. But, um, anyway, got this stego behind me, and I think that's going to be it for our taming today. I think that's going to be it for the episode. I'll do most of my taming off camera, because I know it's not, like, the most exciting thing to witness for our kibble farm. Um, so, hopefully, I'll try to get as many as I can in that barn. Um, it's not going to be anything as extravagant as Timmy's, because Lord knows his kibble farm on our YMCR server was, like, massive and gorgeous. But there's, I don't know, I just still, I don't, I didn't make one that big. <laughs> So that's really the main point and I just I don't know I think it will be fine with the amount that we're going to have So remember the reason that I wanted to start the kibble farm was so that everybody could get the dinosaurs that they want Have them perfectly tamed and then we're gonna move out and start building our bases Wherever we want to move our ba build our bases So once I have a great terrain it on we're gonna explore the center because I haven't really I mean I kind of explored it when I was looking for pearls and crystal um, but I haven't really like gotten to the nitty-gritty of it because this map is absolutely gorgeous and I can't wait to further explore and then when we finally find our home base We're gonna look into a lot more things of the primitive plus like the bread making the juice making all that exciting stuff that I'm like so stoked for um, Anyway, so thank you guys for joining. We tamed up some dinosaurs. We played around with the longbow and if you liked it, please leave a comment or a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. That way you know when I put out a new video. And I will talk to you later. Bye. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at that. Pretty. Bye. We've spotted a nice fans in the wild with their crazy long left arm, the head next to their crotch and their right arm doing whatever the heck it wants to do. Also, it's got some weird leg situations going on. Be careful, you never know when it might attack in its flamingo form.